Hey guys, I'm pretty excited to show this to you today. I ordered a trailer, uh, aluminum trailer, for my battery pack. Uh, it was, oh, it's an Ultra, we'll, we'll see the names over on the front side of it. It was from Northern Tool. Um, for some reason, it was just either discontinued or just removed. I bought it like four days ago and it got delivered today. And it's, I guess, gone. I, I bought mine on Amazon, but for some, for some reason they took it down. Um, not really sure why. Maybe they're just out. Maybe it's uh, discontinued. I don't know. But it's a super sweet trailer. You can see other videos about people putting it together. Uh, you just bolt it together. It's, it's super easy. Really lightweight. Uh, the trailer itself is only about 175-ish pounds, I think I read online. But uh, I'll just show you what I did. I have my uh, Harbor Freight uh, engine hoist that I use to move the battery pack around. Um, but I got it nice and centered. And what was really crazy is these two bolts just happen to be so close, just perfectly lined up. If I move this over, that lines up, um, but it's just like an inch off. So I'm gonna do some tweaking so I can actually bolt this down. Uh, I'll get some other angles. Sorry I'm always shooting at night, but I have a newborn and I try to be there for my wife and kid and uh, only time I have to myself is when they go to bed. So that's why I'm out here in the garage. It's always dark and cold. Um, lighting sucks, of course. Um, but here's the trailer. Pretty sweet. And uh, let me, again, I, I'm a bad YouTuber, but I'm going to try to do this uh, one-handed, but that's how light it is. I'm moving it, lifting it with one hand. I can move it side to side much better than my other trailer. My other trailer was steel. Uh, I used it to move my lawnmower around and stuff like that, uh, so I really wanted this one. So. If you can get it again, I don't know if you can, uh, hopefully it becomes available because I actually thought about buying a second one to replace my steel trailer. Uh, it's 700 bucks. then you put it together yourself. Uh, it's really easy, it comes with all the bolts. Uh, only thing that I added was one bracket for this. So it's obviously not bolted down yet, but this bracket here, I just got some one inch 90 um, from this was from Tractor Supply, actually. Cut it down. It's exactly 36 inches. So I cut it down so this would fit right on that lip. And this I also got from Harbor Freight. It's, I don't know if it's discontinued too or what, but uh, it was, I don't know, 5, 10% off at the register. It was like 19 bucks for this box. And part of the battery project that I'm doing. It's gonna hold a battery to power, uh, just a normal 12 volt battery from a car to power the BMS and stuff like that, the contactors inside this box. And it's also just gonna house probably my connectors, stuff like that. Um, oh, also the cooling pump is gonna be in there. So I have to have a, a circulator pump. So, man, I wish I had better lighting. Oh well. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's the coolant lines coming out of here, and there's another one over there. And I'm just gonna bring those out and into this. The circulator pump is gonna be in here. There's gonna be a water heater in there, and cooling isn't as much of an issue with these, but at least in my area. I mean, I don't live in Arizona. I live in upstate New York, and. Uh, we have to worry about heating our batteries more than we do or cooling them. So heat is definitely important, but I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out doing some kind of radiator down the road um, just to figure it out and uh, maybe cool these if the need arises. But upset New York is cold. I mean, we get max 90 degrees. Granted, the big issue with this is it's gonna, it's all black and it's going to be in the sun. Uh, but that actually leads me to my other thing is I, I think I'm probably going to do some kind of fi fiberglass shell 
just to cover these and uh, paint it white and that way it'll reduce some temperature. And that's if I don't sell the mod modules. Right, right now I'm doing all this because I have the battery pack. Uh, the, the modules inside the battery pack are actually for sale uh, locally on Craigslist. So if I do sell those modules, I'll shelve this. I'm gonna keep the whole casing and everything, but I'll shelve the project. And the other idea is to do the same exact thing with a Tesla, uh, hopefully a P100 pack. Uh, if one jumps out and presents itself to me, then uh, I'm gonna have to pick it up. Um, but that's the other idea is, is to do this with a Tesla pack. So for now, I'm doing it with this one, just to do it, because I have everything. Um, but if you do want modules, let me know. And uh, these are for sale. Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, pretty cool. I'm really glad. I'm really happy with everything. I, I like how everything came together. Uh, I love how lightweight it is. With the trailer being around 175, um, the battery pack itself, I, I've been told, is around 140. So then uh, we'll have tools and some stuff in the, in the front up there. Uh, but somewhere around 1,000, 1,100, some, somewhere in there. Uh, tongue weight is, I'm, I'm no trailer expert or anything, but I mean, it's pretty well balanced. I, I think tongue weight's probably just gonna be what, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, I don't know. So I, I'm gonna at least double my range if I just stick with this pack and I have the weight of an extra person in the car, basically. And if I can get a Tesla pack at some point and, and bolt that up here and, and put that in here, then I'm going to triple my range, <laughs> almost. Uh, so super excited about it. It's coming along. I am hoping to get this all running maybe in the next two to three weeks. I've got some big road trips planned this year, and uh, I'm really hoping I can drive it and uh, give it a try. But, all right, so I guess that is it this time. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I hope you enjoy, and I haven't said this in a while, but I hope you understand still that uh, I am definitely not a professional YouTuber. I'm not making money off this. Uh, I don't do any editing, as you probably can tell. I don't have any crazy intros or outros. I don't really care. I I'm just doing this because I think it's cool, and hopefully you are interested in the content, and maybe it helps you consider doing something like this in the future. I, I'm definitely not a professional. Uh, I have a fair bit of experience with uh, 12 volt and, and 120 and 240 volt home systems. But uh, I think really anybody can do this. Uh, but if you have any questions or if I can help, just definitely let me know. Bye.